Welcome to the movies, pal. You're from the neighborhood Master Chaos. Back with you once again. Come on in out of the rain. And it is raining because it's very apropos to today's movie. Got a dry seat for you. Unless you'd prefer a wet one, I can make that happen as well. Today, I'm very, very, very happy to report we have a good film to talk about. Something that is almost dare I say too good for vinegar syndrome that's the good news for us and uh I gotta be honest I am so fucking thrilled when I can bring you good news I am so happy it, it cheers up my whole day when I don't have to bring you crushing news of disappointments uh in the form of physical media if I can bring you good happy news that's gonna cheer you up and 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 possibly give you a wonderful viewing experience then my day is brightened and let me continue to uh, brighten your day with today's Review. Resurrection from 1999, directed by Russell Mulcahy and starring international superstar and Highlander Christopher Lambert, or Christophe Lambert, I don't know how he pronounces it. <laughs> I was going to call him the lamb. The lamb. The, his friends call him the lamb. It's cool. I can do it. Right off the bat, I will say this. Resurrection is essentially a seven ripoff. Uh, well, maybe ripoff is uh, is mean. I'll say knockoff. That's a little nicer, um, even though it might bring you visions of a really awful Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Now, August had the theme of Blue Balls Month because those movies did not deliver the goods but September 2021, this month's theme is ripoffs. Of course, Blade, or Blades, was a ripoff of Jaws, and Resurrection is a loving homage to Seven. Now, despite the fact that this movie is trying very hard to capture the look, the tone, the feel of Seven, almost right down to the way the killer kills, the, the, the rainy setting, the gloomy atmosphere, despite all that, the movie, unlike Blades, stands out on its own and becomes its own organic thing. That's what I was looking for in Blades. Okay, you're gonna rip off Jaws, fine, but give me something unique about it. Resurrection, I feel, delivers something very unique, even though it's playing very much in the Seven ball field. I think you could watch this and Seven, and they'll feel spiritually similar, but they won't feel like you're essentially watching the same movie over again. The Lamb and Leland Orser team up to catch a serial killer that is ripping body parts off of random strangers and uh, looking to create a masterpiece of some kind with what appears to be a religious bent. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give too much away with this one, um, just like when I did with Shallow Grave, which was another recent release that blew me away, uh, because I want you to discover this movie. I want you to go through it and go on the journey uh, with the Lamb's character and, and, and experience the movie like I did. I had seen this movie in the past, but I forgot that I'd seen it because, well, obviously so much time has passed and you see so many things. And I'll tell you why it wasn't familiar to me. Let me take the slip off. By the way, let's take a look at that real quick. Beautiful, beautiful slip. The back says he's coming, which is really where the movie begins with this little... Um, Little uh, slogan left by the killer. Now, I'll tell you why the movie didn't look familiar to me at first, because of the new artwork. I'm going to flip it over to the original artwork, and maybe a lot of you will go, Oh, yeah! I've seen that at video stores. I know that movie. Here's the original artwork. See, that looks very familiar. I want to make sure there's no glare on it for you. I've seen that cover. I know I've rented that movie. I was a big Lamb fan. So I said, Oh, I gotta look at the Lamb. Look, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a slasher killer. I gotta grab that shit. Of course, Russell Mulcahy, I'm a big fan of him, so I'm sure I've rented this movie, but it just didn't last in my memory. And I don't know why, because it's very, very good. But now I'm glad um, that Vinegar Syndrome has brought it to light. Now, as I mentioned with stuff like Blades or, uh, for example, Devil Story, those are movies that I don't necessarily think deserve. Deserve is a strong word. I'll say that those are movies that are maybe aren't worthy of rediscovery, you know, uh, revisiting, restoration, all that stuff, rewatching stuff like uh, Resurrection and Shallow Grave certainly are. So, in that regard, of course, every movie is not for everyone. I do think Vinegar Syndrome is doing really great work, shining a light on these forgotten masterpieces, completely forgotten by me. And I had seen it, and I, I think I probably enjoyed it back in the day. 
Um, I think I actually had it on VHS. Rewatching it now, beautifully cleaned up. I mean, this is a stellar knockout movie. This is a gorgeous looking movie. <laughs> you got rich oranges and really dark blacks, and it's just really well put together. I mean, this is not a cheapo direct-to-video movie, which it, it was at the time a direct-to-video movie, but that's back in the day when direct-to-video movies were fucking good. Mmm, so good and tasty. You get an interview with Russell Mulcahy, you get an interview with actor Robert Joy and actor Jonathan Potts, and then an interview with Jim McGrath, the composer. You know who's also in this? David fucking Cronenberg. He's got two scenes, they're very brief. Uh, he plays a priest, uh, which is... Um, interesting holy shit this is a fucking good movie it's a fucking good movie i recommend it i think you guys would like it fast paced it's never dull i mean it goes from crime scene to crime scene to crime scene to crime scene it, the tension just ratchets up there's some great twists and turns there's some really disgusting gore in it you know the crime scene stuff is really nasty i will caution you though there are a couple of uh of close-up shots of um well how should i put this um, dead wieners? I'll put it that way. There's a couple of dead wieners in here, and, uh, you get to see them more than you would like. <laughs> because of those dead wieners, I'm knocking a star off the movie. This is gonna get four stars. Just kidding, just kidding. Dead wieners aside, Resurrection is a five-star movie. Holy fucking shit, what is happening in the world? Has hell frozen over two five-star movies in a month? Damn, they're definitely trying to get their subscribers to re-up for next year. That's insane, but it's good news for us. This is a five-star movie, absolutely. And like I have said uh, previously, it does rely heavily on the seven mystique. But, I mean, can you really blame the filmmakers? It was a popular film, and the 90s kind of soaked in that miasma of cinematography. So you kind of have to accept it that that's what serial killer movies looked like back then. Uh, and that's just the style that they, uh, you know, embraced, uh, for, for lack of a better word. Uh, and it's fine. It's fine. I think the movie stands out on its own quite strongly. Uh, I think The Lamb does a really good job here acting-wise. I think Leland Orser is better. I think he outacts uh, The Lamb, but that's fine. Um, uh, it's it's you know, usually... The sidekicks and the character actors are the ones that really make an impression. Add to that the fact that this movie is almost two hours and it's never boring and it's always propulsively heading in the right direction with a narrative that does not lose steam. Um, and you got a movie that's literally uh, almost, like I said, too good for VS. Uh, and uh, I give it my stamp of approval. This is the second one I've ever done, actually, at least this year. Stamp of approval, 100%. I think you're really going to enjoy Resurrection. I think it's worth a buy. Wait for a sale if you want. Uh, you're gonna have to wait till the halfway to Black Friday in 2022 because this will not be on sale during this Black Friday. But you know, if you can wait, I'd suggest wait. I think you could probably watch it on, on Tubi or IMDb TV or something like that. I know it's available uh, to, to stream. So go ahead, try before you buy. Um, and if you like it, you know, grab it. If you wanna support Vinegar Cinema, go ahead and grab it. But um, if you feel like you want to wait for a sale, you'll be okay to wait. I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. But it's definitely going to be building word of mouth. And if I'm a part of that, then fantastic. Uh, but uh, yes, 100%, really good movie. Grab it, grab it, grab it. You're not going to be disappointed. And it's got a really lovely slip as well. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I don't remember the artist uh, who put this one together. I don't know if it's on here, but... Um, Fantastic work by whoever it was. Resurrection. There you go, baby Bo. That's all I had. Sorry. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Happy October 1st, by the way. I should mention that uh, we are starting October 1st, 2021, um, as of the release of this video. So I'm going to make this announcement in this episode because um, I just want to give you an idea of what's going on. In the next few um, uh, issues, issues, episodes of Master Chaos Theater, we are starting. It's a Hammer Halloween special. What does that mean? Well, that means that for the month of October, whenever I release a non-boutique label review, 
for uh, for all of October, it's going to be focusing on Hammer films. I've got a big list of Hammer films I'm going to be tackling. I don't know how many I'm going to get to because it is a busy month and there's a lot of other things I want to cover and, and Halloween adventures I want to take you on. So I don't know how many I'm going to cover, but I'm going to be doing mainly Hammer films in October uh, to celebrate Halloween. I hope you'll join me for those reviews as well. And uh, maybe in the comments down below, suggest some of your favorite Hammer movies. And if I, if I have a chance, if I'm able to, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll add that to the list and, uh, and, and credit you as somebody who recommended it. Um, okay, my friend, it's time to close the theater down. Halloween is upon us, so make sure you watch a lot of spooky, spooky movies. I'll be here to help you through that um, with a ton of content. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. If you do, we'll get to do this again. It would be an honor and a pleasure to do so. Leave me a thumbs up on your way out the door. Uh, and until we meet again, take care of yourself. Because that is important. You are important. You matter. Not just to me, but to the world in general. I'm going to grab the curtain, pull it across the silver screen, and wish you the best and bid you adieu at the same time. Because the theater is closed for now.